All right, this one comes from Facebook and it comes from Sam. Sam asks, how do I know if my work is worthwhile? Now, first of all, I want you to think about how amazing it is that you are in a, pa a place where you can even ask that question. There are so many people who are just living their lives, who don't know that they're, they're allowed or supposed to find some kind of meaning, some kind of a deeper emotional, spiritual, whatever connection. There are so many people that just are going through their day. They just put their head down and they breathe in and out all day and they just do their thing. And without even knowing it, they're contributing to a system that's not really helping anybody. But here you are saying, wait a minute, I want some meaning. I want to be doing something worthwhile. So right away, I can tell you that you're on a healthy path just by being the kind of person who's asking that question. I want you to know that just by being hungry for it, you may be inspiring who knows how many people to look for their own answers. I want to live in a world where the people in it are passionate about following their passion. Whatever that passion happens to be, I have to believe that it all leads to a really beautiful place. So, given that you're already asking that question, how do I know if my work is worthwhile, tells me the answer is you're headed in a good direction. But it's also fair to say that if you have to ask, it's probably the case that you've got some growing to do. But you know what? <clears throat> That's not a bad thing. I'm interested in moving forward. I'm interested in more work to do. And so should you be. So it's okay if there's more to do. But how do you know? How can I tell if I'm doing a good thing? Well, imagine explaining it to a little kid. Imagine explaining what you do to your grandma or even better, a younger version of yourself. When you talk about what you do, when you introduce yourself to people at parties or whatever, pay attention to how you feel when you say it and pay attention to what you say. Do you ever start your description of your job with right now? As in, well, right now I do X at Y. Well, that's not a great sign. Think about that. But more than all of that, pay attention to how it makes you feel when you show up for work. Pay attention to how it makes you feel at the end of the day. Do you do a job that wears you out or do you do a job that fills you up? Because here's the deal. The universe doesn't get tired. Everything important, life, love, truth, beauty, everything that has real meaning, these are things that don't wear out. And you and I both know how it feels when we participate in that whatever it is that's bigger than we are. You and I both know what it feels like when you tap into something a little bit transcendent. And yeah, you can be tired at the end of the day, but it's this kind of feeling of being filled and looking forward to waking up the next morning. And you and I both know how it feels when we're not doing that, when we're trying to force something to happen, when we're trying to make it come from us. So, where does your good come from? Where does your energy come from? Where does your desire to do more work come from? Let me put it this way. Does your job make you feel like a human being or does it make you feel like a human resource? Am I just there to be and as a result, I experience something good or am I trying to force something to happen? Here's the good news. Wherever you are, and whatever you have on your business card, there's room to let a little bit more of your light shine. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing, there's room to be a little bit more honest, a little bit more true, a little bit more you. There's room to find a way to be a little bit more of a channel for something bigger than you. And to the degree that you do that, one of two things, or maybe both, can happen. Either you may find that you get better at that job, where you get more out of it, and because you're a little bit more you, maybe you get raises and promotions. Maybe you move up in the company. And or maybe by being really honest, you accelerate the situation to the point where you gotta get out of there. Either you quit or you fire yourself or something happens and you're not there anymore. One way or another, whether you grow there or you grow out of there, you grow. So. Right now, when you think about the job that you're doing, ask yourself this, how can I let my light shine a little bit more? And if you come up with an easy answer, if you know right away, here's some things I can do, then maybe you're doing a good job. Maybe you're in your right place. But if you can't find an answer at all where you don't see, that it doesn't feel like there's any room, well, you've got your answer there too. Either way, the answer to this life stuff 
is to be honest, to be true. And in so doing, you connect with something bigger than you are. So is the work you're doing worthwhile? Sure it is. Do more of that part of it that makes you feel honest. Thanks for being honest with me with your questions. Thanks for sharing them with me. Thank you for subscribing to these videos. Thank you for going to facebook.com slash Randolph and clicking that like button. Keep up the good work.